Thank you very much, Ryan. A Gregory Portland ISD is gearing up to welcome students back, but it's going to look a little different. Our Marissa Cummings joins us live with a glimpse of what students can expect. Good morning, Marissa. Good morning, Barbie. So we've talked about a lot of school districts all week, and just like all the other school districts, Gregory Portland is going to start school by going back virtually first. So I have a story that's going to show you what that looks like and then what it's going to look like once they step back into the classroom. Take a look. For online learning, Gregory Portland ISD has decided to go with a Microsoft program called Clever. They will be able to sign on through Clever once they access Teams, and when they do sign on, then they will have access to all of our instructional resources. Velma Solis Garcia is the assistant superintendent at GPISD. She says for the students who decide to do face-to-face, -face, they'll still be accessing their curriculum through Clever. What we're trying to provide is a seamless uh, transition for our students. Uh, whether they choose face-to-face -face or online, the quality of the education will be the same. The main thing that will look different is walking on campus. Gabriel Alvarado is the principal at Gregory Portland Middle School. He says they've always focused on encouraging their students to find an interest, and that's not changing. Alvarado says once students pass the screening outside the school, they'll come in and be separated by common interests. There are band kids, that we with other band kids, and theater kids will be with other theater kids. And um, what they'll do is they'll, they'll enter that pod and we'll have teachers rotate to them. Alvarado says as students travel to class, health and safety reminders will be posted and disinfectant supplies will be available. And once they get to their classroom... The teachers have put tape on the actual floor where each desk goes to make sure that, you know, they can monitor to see if that desk moves too close to another desk, that they can make sure that that desk stays where it's supposed to be. Alvarado says on average, a class can fit 15 to 16 students. Now, Barbie, they have a lot of other safety precautions that they're taking. Like one fun fact that I didn't add in there is that they have about 500 gallons of hand sanitizer just on that campus alone on standby for students. But I know that you are going about you're about to ask the superintendent even more questions and I'm sure we'll have even more answers. Back to you, Barbie.